but I've always just been so interested in supporting like the teams that I grew up loving. And then obviously when I started working in the NFL, you, you can't be biased. So um, I was really curious what women were wearing to games and how they would support um, you know their teams. And I just really realized there was a white space out there and we could offer more like staple pieces. Like you're in one of our like favorite bomber jackets, varsity jackets, this is a bomber that we have. And like comfortable t-shirts and everything. I just felt like women needed to be catered to more to like have the staple pieces and have the teams that they support and love and be fashionable. How have you seen your brands grow in the past year? Well, it, it's pretty cool when you get a text from somebody and you know they're like, oh my gosh, Taylor Swift's wearing your you know <laughs> necklace yeah. to a game or she's wearing your jacket. I just got an email from the Philadelphia Eagles that I just sent to my team that they're support uh, celebrating National Women's Day and they're all wearing our brand. Um, I have players stop me during pregame warmups like, hey, my wife needs this size. It's so cool. So I think that's been the coolest thing. It's my peers, the players that I cover, the coaches, everybody like, we love your brand. It's so much fun. Yeah. Well, Erin, this is a full circle moment for me. I grew up watching you, oh, wow. and you've really opened the door for so many women. Thank you. But all the young women here in Las Vegas looking up to you, what can they learn from your journey? Um, I think, well, two things. You know, I love football. I love sports so much. I love learning about these amazing athletes and their stories and covering them. I'm so emotionally invested in the game on Sunday because I've covered all these guys and I don't want to see anyone lose. So I think you really, really have to love this, you know, to make it work and to seem like you really are connected to the sport and the industry and also preparation. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. You, you can always have your foot in the door because you're a female, but Leslie Visser told me, you know, how hard you work is depends on how long you stay or you know it, it means you stay longer if you work really hard so I prepare really really hard for these games so I would just say like yeah if anything I love it a lot and I work really hard and you know when you have dad say my daughter wants to be like you what are the two biggest things that's the, you know that's it Really great advice there from Aaron Andrews for aspiring sports broadcasters and there's so many